and it just the more oh, you're gonna see you know what i'm saying so if you apply yourself you know what i'm saying it's 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 documented so much throughout history whatever sector right you know what i'm saying but i grew up in israelite wow. you know what i'm saying wow. so my family my family he was israelite so i was able to somewhat learn from that growing up and then it, it just gravitated me to go to Israel and, and see what I've been learning firsthand. Wow. So I just went, I went there on, on, on that. He's like, I, what I, whatever I feel in my body and my... Alright, Shalom, I'm giving all praise unto you. I'm going to give all praise uh, double honors unto the apostles of Great Millstone and honors your brothers to be pushing this truth and sincerity throughout the four corners of the earth. The brother I body are coming out here to give you this truth for the grace and mercy of your Abbas Shimon Shabbat Shimon Kwa Kodash. It's gonna be a quick video based upon these um <clears throat> celebrities. And uh, the brother has posted this clip here. Uh, I would encourage you to go and, and find this clip and, and, and watch it. But what this is a proof of is this is a proof that the Heavenly Father's word is, has gone out here and it's basically mainstream. It's basically mainstream. So we're going to look at the ins and outs of that according to the scriptures. But we can start within the book of Ezekiel, the 37th chapter, and we read about how that within the last days the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Hashimah was going to raise up the 12 tribes of Israel. In fact, we can go to Amos 9 and 8 because that's going to be more more, more on point with, with the topic of the lesson, which the topic of the lesson is the elect is, is, the elect is either, either nearly sealed or very much sealed already. The end is here. That's it. And um, when the elect is sealed, the most I ain't going to hold back the winds. I ain't going to hold back the angels anymore to hold back the winds, which is representative of the ICBM nuclear missiles. The most is going to allow these nations to come up to war against each other. And that's a topic that we're going to see. Uh, that's a theme we're going to see again within the book of Joel, the third chapter. So Amos 9 and 8 it says, Behold, the eyes of the Lord power upon the sinful kingdom, and I'll destroy it from off the face thereof, saving utterly. I will not destroy the house of Jacob. So iniquity was allowed to abound underneath the red Hebrew Edomites rulership. But what we're seeing from the heavenly father, Yahweh Shema Shai, Shema Koha Kodash, is that there's going to be a, a judgment. That's what we've seen throughout the course of the scriptures. And we also understand from the scriptures that when Esau was going to be in rulership and the people was going to mourn, there was going to come a time where they were particular men on the earth that was going to return the hearts of the people back onto their heavenly father, Yahabashim, Yahashai, starting first and foremost with Abba Bivins, which is Elijah the prophet that's spoken about within the book of Malachi, the fourth chapter on the fifth verse, of which the first part of Malachi, the first, fourth chapter, speaks about the day that shall burn like an oven. So this is what we're headed for. For our command and I'll sift the house of Israel like corn is sifted in the sieve, you shall not the least grain fall upon the earth. And that's why that's happening right now. We're seeing Israel being sifted out by way of the unicorn, which is the internet. We're seeing this truth going out there global. All the sinners of my people shall die by the sword, which say the evil shall not overtake us nor prevent us. In that day, which is the which is the times that we're living in right now, will I raise up the tabernacle of David that is frozen and close out the breaches thereof. So we're seeing Jake being risen up now. What we understand from the scriptures is that that everybody that's going to say, Lord, Lord, is going to receive mercy. But we do indeed understand from the scriptures that within the last days, that all, pretty much everybody was going to know about the Israelites. And they was going to have to make a choice of accepting their true heritage. And it's one thing to accept your your true heritage, uh, <clears throat> but actually live by way of the laws of your heritage. See, this is what's going to happen with a lot of these entertainers and rappers and musicians and whatnot. What yeah, they know they're Israelites, but they're still going to be destroyed because they're not willing to let go of the life that they've built with the red Hebrew Edomite. Hosea 1 and, and 10, it says, Yet the number of the children of Israel shall not shall be as the sands of the sea. Got guys out here like Vocab Malone trying to say, you know, uh, um, oh, no, no, Salakia. My apologies. That's a completely different topic. I won't, I won't touch on that, but the number of the children of Israel is, is going to be as the sands of the sea. So Jake was going to be out here. There was going to be a plethora of Jakes out here, man. Right, in every nation, like the scripture says within the book of Deuteronomy, the 28th chapter on the 64th verse, Jake was going to be scattered throughout the four corners of the earth. So within the last days, the scripture says that the number of the children of Israel shall be as the sand of the sea, which cannot be me measured nor numbered. And it shall come to pass that in the place where it said unto them, you are not my people. So in America, that's when the heritage was stripped away, pursuant to the book of um, Jeremiah 17 and 4. That's when the heritage was pulled, was, was taken away from us. That name was axed, axed away from us. Right, by way of the red Hebrew Edomite. But through the spirit power, Yahweh Shema Shai raising up his men, you're seeing the name, heritage of the people of the Lord returning back unto them by way of the prophets coming out there teaching the word. And that's what you're seeing throughout the four corners of the earth, man. You're seeing the teaching of the word. You're seeing the, the right, the raising up of the tall trials of Israel. 
And that's a beautiful thing. And, and to the end, the, the J-double-O is going to have to admit that we're the chosen people of the Heavenly Father, Yahabashim Yashai. It's going to come a point where they have to admit that. It's going to have to come a point where they have to put it out there. And that's why it says here, yeah, in a place where it said unto you, you're not my people. So, in a place where it said unto you, you're not my people, they shall be said unto you, you're the people and the, 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 the sons of the living power. Right? So, we're in that time. We're in that time where they got to admit because the information is too much, man. The information is just out there. They could use the anti and the sem or they like. But the reality of the situation is the more they, they push against the truth, the more the truth is going to become mainstream. Okay. Uh, let me get one, one more precept. Seal. Okay. It's sealed, I think. Let's do it like this. All right, just bear with me. Uh -uh. Right, Revelation 7 and 3 says, probably can start from the first verse. Revelation 7 and 1. And after these things, I saw an angel starting from the four corners of the earth. Um, four corners of the earth, holding the four winds of the earth, which should not blow on the earth nor of the sea and I saw another angel ascending from the from the east from the east having the sea all the living power he cried with a loud voice to the four angels to whom it was given to hurt the earth and the sea saying hurt not the earth neither the sea nor the trees till they we have sealed the servants of the most high in their foreheads this goes into the book of Ezekiel the 37th chapter 2 set a mark upon the men that sigh and cry for all the abominations that be done in the midst thereof was that Ezekiel 9 and 8 like here? Okay. It's the mark of exemption. Esau's got his mark on the on the left hand side. The Mahal side's got his mark on the right hand side. So here we have a situation where um <clears throat> the Mahal side is telling you through the scriptures that the end's not gonna come until the elect is sealed. So when we see videos like this and you're seeing these so called entertainers, and they're all entertainers, man, they're just distractions, right? You're seeing these entertainers coming out here. And letting you know that they're the Israelites, then you know it's high time that the elect was going to be sealed because the entertainers they made a deal with Esau, so they wasn't going to be out here pro professing the downfall of their master like that. But now you're seeing them do that. That means to say, you know, this truth tr truth is, is is well and truly gone out there into the mainstream. Therefore, the elect is going to be sealed. So hopefully that was a verification. But I will say, oh praise unto Yahweh. Um, double honors on three apostles, a great millstone, and honestly, brothers, pushing his truth and sincerity. Shalom.